There are six different ways to name your product or service. Now, as I go through each of these one by one, think about which of these might make the most sense for you. First naming approach is what we call the biggest benefit technique. This is where you highlight the biggest benefit, whether it's speed, ease, transformation that your product or service delivers. Like for example, Rocket Memory is a product for improving your memory fast. The next naming approach is tribal, belonging. This is where you create a sense of belonging for a certain type of person that your product or service serves. So for example, the renegade millionaire system is for, who do you think? Renegade millionaires. Next, number three is curiosity. This is where you create a product name that inspires curiosity where people wanna learn more about your unique mechanism. Like for example, the every other day diet. It's a great product name. How does it work? Well, clearly you're doing something every other day, but I, as a consumer, want to learn a little bit more around how it works. Number four, inspiration. This is where you inspire people with what it is that you're selling. For example, Date with Destiny. Tony Robbins' signature program, Date with Destiny, inspires people to take action. Number five is superiority and status. Like, for example, the Insider Secrets Club. It appeals to people's need to be superior, the people's need to have a sense of status and being on the inside does that. Last but not least, number six is what your product is. So very simply, you could just call it what it is without getting any fancier than that. It could be the webinar bootcamp, a bootcamp on delivering a webinar. Perfect example of this is Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. What is it? It's a tour that takes you through her music across different eras of her career. So six different naming approaches, which one is right for you?